Well, I can think of one particular case, although you hadn't, I wasn't aware that question was coming, it just always looms large in my mind, where I was sort of um, bailed out by the work of the Spirit, really. Um, it was when I was at university, and there was a mission going, about to go, or there was a mission going on, and there was a particular person that I'd been praying for for a while and wanted to ask along, and I just didn't have the nerve. I was so terrified by the prospect, I kept sort of going to have a cup of tea with him. I'm sure he wondered, what was this guy doing? You know, he was suddenly turning up for cups of tea or asking me for cups of tea. Anyway, we were talking one day. This, this guy bumped into me in the library one day, and he said, um, which was rare enough in its own right for me to be in the library, <laughs> and he said, um, I hear there's some kind of mission going on. And I said, oh, yes, there is. He said, do they explain what Christianity is about? I said, oh, yes, that's the main thing. Is there any way I could go along? So I said, oh, I, I, I could probably arrange that. <laughs> Would you like to come with me? And I just thought afterwards, you, you muppet, you know, <laughs> honestly. So that's one example. God is good all the time, as they say. And, you know, the Holy Spirit is at work doing extraordinary things. It doesn't mean we always wait. It comes back to answering the questions we're asked, not the ones we're not asked, trusting that the Holy Spirit is taking people the right, at the right pace and with the love that embraces them from God, not with the kind of manipulation that people are tempted into, all of us are. And that, that's why we pray. Tune in to The Profile Interview in association with Christianity Magazine every Saturday at 4pm only on Premier Christian Radio, where faith comes to life.